You've probably heard of Metasploit Framework, but if you're ready to learn more about it, stay tuned because this guy knows everything. Secure Ninja. I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV, and I am talking with Todd Beardsley, the pirate captain of Metasploit Framework. How are you, Todd? I'm fantastic, Alicia. How are you? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. I'm so excited because this is like our yearly check-in with you. Yep. We like to talk to you as much as possible about Metasploit because you know everything about it. Oh my God, okay. Right? There's a lot of code there, I don't <laughs> know if I know everything. We have a lot of confidence in you, <laughs> right. so that's good. But um, in this you know, video, we wanna dial it back just a little bit um, to for our audience who might not know exactly what Metasploit is, how it works, how they can use it. Sure. So, um, first of all, why don't you tell us, what, what is Metasploit? Uh, Metasploit, it, that is a loaded question, um, because Metasploit is both a software framework, uh, it's a thing you can download and, and hack on today. Um, it's also a really vibrant community of uh, hackers, researchers, students, uh, hobbyists uh, from around the world. Um, about 50% or so, about half of our contributors uh, do come from outside the US. So we have lots in Europe, um, in Germany, UK, Spain, um, lots uh, scattered around Asia, lots of South America. I mean, so it's all over the place. We have um, lots of people uh, all writing uh, Ruby, um, is the language we're, we're written in, um, all writing Ruby to express uh, vulnerabilities and ideally get them fixed. Right, because Metasploit is open sourced software. It's very open source. It's it's extra open source. We use a very liberal license. We use a um, um, the BSD slash MIT license. Uh, so you can use Metasploit for any legal purpose that you like. Right. Um, you know, but I don't advise you using it uh, for crime. Uh, <laughs> it's not very good at that. Um, but it is good for like testing defenses uh, on devices that uh, you already have authorization to uh, to test. Right. Yep. So people might use it for professional authorized hacking purposes, Absolutely. but they could probably also use it just like to learn about hacking. Or how to right. Um, Metasploit more and more is getting involved in um, in mostly university programs, either bachelor's or master's levels uh, in wow. information security, um, and it's for a lot of people. It's it's really the the first time they might um, put together an exploit. Uh, Metasploit makes it real easy to uh, mix and match a particular vulnerability with a you know one of a, an array of payloads. So, for most people, um, when I want to, if I want to trigger a vulnerability, like I can, I, you know, you can do that. Um, but then there's like the whole what next question. For in most uses, you're gonna you're gonna open a shell, uh, and what that means is that you have control over the device. You have control over the target. You can send commands. You can run code or uh, things like that. Um, but we have a lots of payloads. We have a couple hundred, um, and they range from. Uh, things like opening shells to popping up message boxes on the screen to uh, doing like creepy whispering at you um, just to like it's funny and it's it, they have a uh, uh, webcam uh, snaps um, streaming two-way webcam chat which is which is super fun so you can you know play Hollywood hackers like now that I have your attention okay. um, so those are all really fun. Um, you generally wouldn't use those on a real pen test, um, right. but you know if you know that your CTO's laptop is vulnerable to something and you can't get a meeting with them, this is a pretty good way to catch his attention. Right. So, so if somebody were just learning about Metasploit right now in this video, how could they get started using it? Well, um, we have the entirety of the Metasploit framework up on GitHub. Uh, which is a collaborative coding site used by basically everyone. Um, and it's the short link to that uh, to get yourself going is http colon slash slash r dash seven dot co uh, slash msf dash dev. And it should all be under there. Yeah, I know, it's really hard to say. Uh, or just search Metasploit Framework GitHub, you know, on your favorite search engine. Um, I like DuckDuckGo, but you know. <laughs> we'll, we'll make it easy and we'll put a link Thank in you. the comments. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's a little bit of a mouthful. It reads a lot better than it says. Right. Um, but once you go there, um, there's there's a, a st handy step by step uh, of how to download Metasploit Framework, how to get started in a cool. development environment, um, and it's all based on using uh, Kali Linux, uh, which is the 
basically the pen testing operating system of choice. Um, and we're, we're real happy to be working with them too on, on getting all that worked out. Um, and that will take you from, like even if you've done no Ruby, if you've done no Git, you, you don't, like you've never worked on anything like this before, like this will kind of handhold you through that whole process and you can get, get started um, expressing vulnerabilities so other people can use them. Right. So. And you were talking about how it's a very much a community. So what sort of resources can people utilize to learn about Metasploit from some of the more advanced users? Um, I would say the probably the number one way we use to communicate with people is our Freenode IRC channel. And that's um, un, unexcitingly named Pound Metasploit. Um, Pound Metasploit is, is where most of us who work on Metasploit on the daily uh, hang out uh, just basically all day. We have, like I said, we have people from all over the world, so it doesn't really matter what time zone you're in, you're almost always going to be able to run into some expert there. Right. Uh, we have a couple mailing lists that are all documented in the README, um, and we have community.rapid7.com where people can go to talk about Metasploit. So right. lots of different ways to do it. Um, also, like, you know, yell at me on Twitter, especially if you have a bug. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we do all our issue tracking, too, through GitHub, um, so if you do run into bugs, like, not that there are any bugs, uh, <laughs> Uh, but if there are bugs, uh, you can. It's pretty straightforward just to follow those on GitHub, and that gets our attention right away. Excellent. And now Metasploit has grown a lot over the years, it even has. the years that you and I have been talking, yeah. and then it's been purchased by Rapid Seven. Yep. So where is it going in the future? What are some of the newest developments, maybe since last time we talked? Uh, lately, we've been working a lot on um, the guts of uh, Meterpreter, uh, which is the Metasploit interpreter. Uh, Meterpreter is the kind of standard stock payload. Um, it comes with lots of bells and whistles. It now runs on Windows, uh, Linux, uh, Java platforms, PHP, Android, and I think that's, oh no, the Python one. The Python one's super rad. Um, it, we have like a native Python uh, interpreter, which is interesting. Um, they all, we've been do, doing a lot of work on that. Um, mainly, uh, it's been mostly HD, who you may have heard of, um, uh, OJ in Australia, and Brent uh, in Austin. Um, OJ and Brent have been working on that a lot, also with HD. And all of that has been, uh, that has come leaps and bounds since probably last time even we talked. Uh, people are welcome to hack on that too. It's mostly, the Windows Meterpreter is mostly written in C. Uh, that all compiles very cleanly now. Um, if you worked on Meterpreter even uh, 18 months ago, you probably didn't have the greatest experience. Right. Uh, <laughs> spent a lot of time on RC saying, hey, HD, how do I do this? Um, now it's, it's, it's very turnkey. So, uh, and we've, we've, been, we've been adding a lot of features of that, to that lately. So if somebody new to Metasploit has used the link and gone and downloaded it and everything, and they're getting ready to flex their Metasploit muscles and start learning, um, but they don't, they're not authorized to actually hack anything, how can they, how can they practice without getting in trouble? Sure. Um, so typically, we advise people to download um, a machine called Metasploitable, and it's a virtual machine. It's, it's got loads and loads of vulnerabilities. So it's actually kind of an effort to like, cram so many vulns into one machine. Um, we're working on that, too, to make that uh, a, a little more user-friendly. But you can, um, again, you can just like search Metasploitable, and you'll find it. Um, and it's a virtual machine. Um, you stand it up. It's got loads of running services. You can use your favorite scanner. You can use some of the Metasploit scanners. You can use Nmap. You can use a lot of things um, just to poke at it. And then you'll see like how that all works um, by, you know, by how the exploits are uh, set up, how they're delivered, you know, what you can do next. Um, so that's, that's, a, that's a pretty decent learning tool. Again, that's getting used a lot, too, in, in some uh, information security uh, university programs. Um, and we could always use help with that. Um, I am I am super happy to get patches uh, to make that thing like more vulnerable. You know, it's like more kind vulnerable. of yeah, it's like backwards <laughs> DevOps. You know, um, like we're we're always looking for good ways to come up with decent machines that people can can beat on. Um, of course, you also have like the machines you might have around the house that you do actually own, right. um, which is a, a fairly legitimate use of Metasploit. It's yeah. like if I want to like kind of take the temperature of my home network, right. um, I can use Metasploit to do that. So like personal pen test. Yep, personal pen test. <laughs> nice. I love it. <laughs> I think it's a new like, term we yeah. just coined. <laughs>
<laughs> well, now your uh, demo that you did for us at Black Hat last year was, or not Black Hat, DEF CON last right. year was super popular. Oh. Do you think maybe next year at DEF CON we could do one of those again? I'm Something sure. Something like that? I'm sure of it. Um, I'm still really interested in Android phones. Um, and and iOS phones. Hopefully, I'll have something decent on iOS by then too. Um, the the uh, the payloads for Android are, like I said, like a billion times better than they were last year. Um, so we should have a lot to show uh, by the time DEF CON rolls around. So, awesome. Yep. Give our viewers something to look forward to. Yep. All right. Thank you so much, Todd. Always awesome to talk with you. My pleasure. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned a little bit about Metasploit. If you're looking for more cybersecurity training, definitely check out our latest product, the Online Sensei Series. It's a membership program that will give you unlimited access to all of our video-based cybersecurity training courses. So if you liked the Cyber Kung Fu Certified Ethical Hacker training, which we know you did, then you will love this. And you get a free seven-day trial to sign up, so there's really no reason not to. I'm Alicia Webb. Thanks for watching. Secure Ninja TV is brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in cybersecurity training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. Secure Ninja, forging cybersecurity experts.